Very good morning to all of you. Honorable Vice Chancellor of Largest Technical University, Visheshwaraya Technical University, VTU, Professor Vidya Shankar. The Registrar, Dr. Rangaswamy, T.M. Srinivas, H.R. Sudarshan Reddy, VTU, VHU Coordinator and Regional Director, and all the principals of the engineering colleges, and all the students who are in the second year of engineering degree program, and ladies and gentlemen, very warm good morning to all of you. First of all, let me congratulate the Vice Chancellor and the leadership of the Visheshwaraya Technical University to organize such a thought-provoking, innovative, very relevant course or a topic or a lecture series to all the students, particularly in the engineering and management education in the country. Human values are very crucial for all, irrespective of any background. The Indian values is something which has proved its existence and importance since many, many centuries. Though we lost the originality of our human values due to fabricated history and many other reasons in the last 200 years, but fortunately, at present, the conditions in our country, we are reviving back to our roots and bring moral values to our young people. Our entire efforts are rooted in the spirit of well-being of all, what is called as Vasudhaiva Kutumbak. Friends, you have just entered into a phase of learning, technical education. You may be in civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical, computer science, and related courses. So that means basically you are trying to graduate with a technical degree in years to come. A lot about engineering you're going to learn in another two, three years. And definitely you will be learning yourself also because of national education policy, self-learning, on the top technical topics, because there are enough information on the net, internet, as well as at your university. And there is no doubt you are going to be a successful engineer once you graduate. But what is very important? You see, UHV, that is universal human value, is a term where you are going to given importance to a learn about yourself, you know, what you are. So many new generation may not be familiar with this term, UHV. One, one must know that UHV is very crucial in educational curricula, including engineering. That's where, you know, I would like to congratulate Visheshwaraya Technical University and its administration, making a point to science, construction, and also innovations. With this power comes the responsibility to uphold ethical standards and ensure that their work benefits the humanity as a whole. Universal human values provide a framework for making ethical decisions and considering the broader impact of engineering solutions on society. AICTE, I think many of you already know what it is because everybody, you know, all the colleges getting the results. A place, AICTE plays a crucial role in promoting UHV within the technical education sector. While AICTE's primary focus is on ensuring the quality and setting up standards for technical education, it also recognizes 
the importance of holistic development of a human being, including the cultivation of human values among students and faculty members. The ICTE encourages institutions to integrate value education into their curriculum. This includes courses on modules dedicated to subjects such as ethics, moral values, social responsibility, and empathy. The most important, the empathy. By mandating the inclusion of these topics, AICTE ensures that students receive exposure to universal human values in their life. In fact, AICTE, with the help of industry academy experts, has framed the curriculum for a minor degree in universal human values to develop teachers and students who are going to make who are going to be the policy makers of the tomorrow who will have a human worldview along with technical skills and strive to ensure value based living for themselves as well as the society in the rapidly evolving world ladies and gentlemen where artificial intelligence and disruptive technologies are taking the front seat. New generation must have an ability to distinguish themselves from a modern technology. Compassion and empathy are virtues that distinguish us as humans. In the quest for technical advancement, we must not forget the human element. Behind every line of code, what you are going to write, or every circuit diagram you are going to sketch, or every mechanical design, or a civil engineering drawing, there are human lives going to be impacted. It is crucial to consider the broader societal implications of our work and strive to create technologies that prioritize human well-being above all else. Let me give you what is in for it. Today, we have artificial intelligence is already pervasive. Semiconductors are pervasive. Because of this, you know, many new jobs or roles will be created for you. Because the present job roles may be taken by machines. I'll give you some examples. When I joined AICTE, chat GPT also has been given. You know, it came out, the first version, 3.5. I think many of you would have already used chat GPT. So I also sat down one day, asked chat GPT to write a poem about AICTE. See, remember, why I'm telling you this story? I asked you to write a poem about AIC. Because a poet, you know, skill, skill of a poet, we always thought it cannot be acquired. It has to come through your genes or some forefathers of yours should be a poet in your family and you will get that skill and you will be a, a poet. But this machine, believe me, in 10 seconds, wrote a beautiful poem covering the entire work of All India Council for Technical Education, written in four stanzas very cryptly, very intelligently. Okay. And that poem, I was not too happy immediately because I, I thought, let me check the intelligence of this mission. And I asked it to write that in Hindi. In 10 seconds, an Hindi poem of the same thing was ready. So look at the power of this artificial intelligence. Okay. So recently when I took a delegation to Taiwan, one of the student project caught my eye, attention. So the student had developed a robot playing a guitar. That means a music. Okay. But what he has done in addition to that, he has used the artificial intelligence to compose the music as well. So this machine composed the music, and a robot, which is also a machine, played the guitar. So the musician role also has been taken over this by machine. So are you not scared? Today, the so beautiful artistic pictures, whatever you imagine, you can give a direction in text, a picture will be ready. A video will be ready in 10 seconds. That's the power of artificial intelligence in our daily life. Well, I will repeat again. So this AI has taken over the role of poet, musician, and an artist. That means whatever we thought earlier, these three jobs cannot be 
done by any machine because it requires skill set which has to be cannot be acquired even a, even some musician wants to play music or create a compose a music he works very hard for a long time but this machine does it in 10 15 20 seconds artist also so in such a world where many job roles will be taken by these machines so you have to now upskill yourself reskill yourself to become relevant in the future and you have to be also above these machines that means you have to have universal human values integrity is one that one one such thing machines doesn't really they are not human beings so integrity stands as another pillar of universal human value our society interest in addition to empathy integrity is also very critical our society interest engineers with the task of creating systems and technologies that are reliable and very useful to the whole mass and they are also they also have to be safe and ethically correct we must adhere to the highest standards of honesty and integrity ensuring that our innovations serve the common good and uphold this trust placed in us by society universal human values prioritize the safety well being and dignity of the individuals and by putting these values in the technical curriculum the future engineers will design systems products and technologies that prioritize human safety and minimize potential risk to users and communities by incorporating values such as empathy compassion into their work engineers can develop solutions that enhance the quality of life for people around the world and more than that they will be much better than the machines or the ai generative ai technologies so we can be on top of it that's the whole purpose of it see all these technologies new technology may be dis- disruptive but they are all created by human being for the welfare of human being universal human values promote inclusivity diversity within the engineering streams fostering creativity innovation and effective problem solving the, these are the skills you need to imbibe while you are in college this is what universal human values curriculum teaches you by embracing a wide range of viewpoints i am also the wisest engineers can develop solutions that address the needs of diverse population and promote social equity it's very very important today that i i always tell all my colleagues that ai generative ai might take many jobs away or new job roles might be created okay where you have a better opportunity but what is most important that you being a human and rise above these machines is very very critical so in short we can say that uhv provides a moral and ethical foundation for students to guide their actions and decision making throughout their academic and professional careers by integrating uhv into the curriculum students learn to recognize the ethical implications of their work and develop the skills needed to navigate complex ethical dilemmas i also urge the teachers today principals and everybody up to meet you because i have seen you are in the forefront of technical education many changes you are also bringing at the speed you know many can not even believe so in such a situ- situation you have done by integrating uhv into the curriculum a great service to the mankind so by integrating uhv into the curriculum students learn to recognize ethical implications of their work and develop the skills needed to navigate complex ethical dilemmas so i urge the teachers to use chat gpt use them rather than you know boycotting them 
technology has to be used technology has been developed but the right use of technology in the right way is also very critical so education is not just about acquiring knowledge it is also about personal growth and development uhv universal human values encourage students to reflect on their own through discussions reflections and experiential learning opportunity ai cte has also created at the vtu you know campus uh, in mudayati compassion and also by involving yourself some meditation you know because it just sent itself is the entire area is itself a meditative uh, nature so you will be a truly a professional person when you graduate with the incorporation of uhv into the curriculum what has happened is educational institutions can help shape the values and attitudes of the future generation of engineers and leaders because please note that india is the number one country in producing largest number of engineers in the world just give you some statistics today india generates close to about 1.2 to 1.3 million engineers every year through their network of 3600 engineering colleges we are the largest okay the next one is china and america so this number or a very excellent quality of engineers are also being generated today if there is any opportunity for us to become a vishwaguru this is going to be in the area of stem science technology and engineering and mathematics in this area india has done exceedingly well in particularly karnataka you know start the engineering colleges very early in 80s has given large number of engineers to the whole world so you cannot name an industry or a country without an indian diaspora having a degree from india in technical education you will find everywhere our engineers and in this direction i think vtu can boast of their contribution in producing very large number i was very happy to station i was really impressed by the way your phd is granted so you had actually that time 785 phd so it's very amazing to know that there are two journal publications two conference publications and this is also goes outside karnataka or even outside india and you know this is the kind of quality education and quality phd as a country we stand in the top 5 countries of research publications and innovation in the world we are also stand top 5 countries of producers of phd to about 95000 to 1 lakh patents have been filed by our researchers in our country and coming to innovation and startups so in startups india has done exceedingly well in the last 10 to 12 years startups are today they are stand at 1 lakh 25000 in innovation index we in global innovation index we jumped from the rank 81 to 40 now you know and we are the third largest startup ecosystem in the world see so not just this startup creating startup why startup is very critical startup is very critical because you have to know how to take a risk that risk taking ability comes only when you learn universal human values you have to be compassionate you have to learn to fail you know failure is the stepping stone for success today our startup 125000 out of them more than 125 startups are unicorns generating a market capital of 500 billion dollars what is most important out of this 500 billion dollars one fourth of that has come from abroad that means market has flowed from international to india with all these efforts with all these numbers india is a force to reckon with and india actually today innovates innovation is a key and parcel of our education so with all these india is the fifth largest economy of the world we are bound to become 
third largest economy in a couple of years to come. It's not just the third. I feel that the time is good time has come if all of you put your efforts, the young people, okay? And India would be number one again. You might remember the days of 17th century belonged to Dutch when they started sailing and looking for different countries through the sea routes. The Dutch sir, established their Samraj across the world. And in 18th century, the British Samraj came in. You might remember, India also was ruled by Britishers for 100 years. After the World War II, 1945, that, that, that was the time of Americans. America gone into prominence because they put them people on moon, okay, Apollo. All these, you know, was a successful stint of Americans. After the COVID-19, ladies and gentlemen, it is India's time. It is the time of Indians and it is the time of you, young people, of who are particularly in the STEM education. So you have to take pride in what you do. You know, what you could see very clearly is you should not feel that you are from a small college. So majority of all of us who are successfully doing things are all from small colleges. So you can clearly see Chandrayaan or Aditya Yalvan. Many countries, advanced countries have failed to put on dot, you know, land on the moon. The rover recently launched by a private company in America, tipped over. But our rover moved very successfully. So why this is possible? These are all from these scientists who made this happen are all from second and third grade engineering colleges called to be. So you have your opportunities are plenty. You are in one of the best places. You can create a new world order. With the incorporation of universal human values into your curriculum, you can actually be a wholesome person, instilling a strong ethical foundation and a commitment to social responsibility early in your career and also in your educational journey. So I integrating universal human values into the curriculum and answers the educational experience and builds confidence and take the values positively and contribute to the creation of more just, equitable and sustainable world. My message to all of you is that you embark on a journey as engineers. Do not lose sight of your shared humanity. Always try to integrate universal human values into every aspect of your work and interactions. Do, you know, something which you can give happiness to you. Harness the power of technology to build the world that is more just, equitable and sustainable for all. Another important message I would like to give you as a chairman of AICT today. So parliament elections are coming in. My request, humble submission to all young people because you are turning 18 and 19. You are maybe voting first time. Mera pehla vote desh ke liye. You have to take a pledge saying that I'm going to vote. You vote to anybody you like. This is your choice. You have to exercise your vote. Mera, the campaign we have also launched at AICTE, Mera Pehla Vote Desh Ke Liye, has, it has been launched with the objective to ensure universal enlightenment, participation of youth in election proposed, you know, which is going to come. So this is very, very important. Make it a point to get up, register yourself, go there and hope, vote for what you would like to see a change what you would like to do. I think this is very important. Don't lose your chance to vote. This is all I would like to say. Thank you for patiently listening to me. I'm very happy to be giving this lecture on universal human values, exploring the potential of that in the value of technical education. And I wish you the very, very best. I once again thank the Vice Chancellor and the leadership of Isheshwaraya Technical University. Namaskar. Jai Hind, Jai Bhai.